In this video, we will explore the issues, solutions, and codes generated when temperature sensor failures occur in your brand air conditioning units. 1. To begin with, for the York brand, codes denoted with a letter E generally appear when the information provided by temperature sensors located in the indoor unit is not logical. 2. On the other hand, fault codes identified with a letter F are usually generated when the temperature sensor is short-circuited, broken, or open. 3. In contrast, fault codes starting with a letter P are activated when the control strategy and the information from various sensors indicate that the equipment must be protected due to an imminent risk. Regardless of the type of temperature sensor causing the problem, the diagnostic and correction procedure follows the same steps. A. Disconnect the equipment from the power supply for several minutes. Then, turn the equipment back on and check if the fault code persists. B. Visually inspect the position of the temperature sensor. C. Visually check the sensor connection and the connection to both the external and internal electronic modules. D. Use a multimeter to check the electrical resistance of the sensor. Disconnect the sensor and measure its resistance with the multimeter set to the kiloohm scale. E. If you have the sensor's resistance and temperature chart, compare the measured value with the chart values. If you don't have the chart, measure the resistance while rubbing the sensor with your hand. The resistance should decrease. F. The resistance value should never be zero or infinite. G. With the sensor connected and the electronic board powered on, measure the voltage supplied by the board with the multimeter set to the DC voltage scale. This value should be around 2.5 volts. Now, let's look at the fault codes related to temperature sensor problems generated in York equipment. 1. When there are issues with the temperature sensor located in the indoor unit, that measures the room air temperature being sucked in by the indoor unit's fan. Code E4 can be generated. 2. When there are issues with the temperature sensor located in the indoor unit that measures the evaporator temperature, code E5 can be generated. 3. When there are issues with the temperature sensor located in the outdoor unit that measures the refrigerant gas temperature within the outdoor unit's heat exchanger, codes F2 and P5 can be generated. 4. When there are issues with the temperature sensor located in the outdoor unit that measures the air temperature passing through the outdoor unit's heat exchanger, code F1 can be generated. 5. When there are issues with the temperature sensor located in the outdoor unit that measures the refrigerant gas temperature coming out of the compressor, codes F3 and P4 can be generated. 